<coughs> Morning. I know I haven't done any videoing for a while. That's because I am still in the gatehouse. Uh, this is the first full week back since Christmas. And obviously, as you know, I was in the gatehouse a week uh, before Christmas. Had the Christmas off. I done three days last week, and now I'm in again all this week, possibly next week as well. So I've got a lot of fun. Basically, <clears throat> sit here, keep the gate shut unless somebody needs to get in or out, book in our, our lot, and our trailers and our trucks, and that's it really. And uh, that's it. I mean, it's really exciting. I mean, would you like a tour of the, uh, of the of the gatehouse? Come on. That there is the most important part of the gatehouse, the kettle. Hands down, without a doubt, the most important part. There's a radio if I need it, but I don't, because I've got a laptop. There's just bits of crap on the wall, <coughs> window, so I can look out into the yard next door. Not that I need to. Fire extinguishers, always important. These yakky, dirty, crappy, wanky fucking pin locks that has to go into trailers when they're loaded. Some hard hats if somebody wants one. Bits and bobs. And uh, that's pretty much it. All exciting stuff, yeah. <clears throat> now that's all it is. There's nothing else to it. At the end of the day. So yeah, there you are. I've got my little fire here as well, which uh, keeps me warm. Anyway, <clears throat> yesterday. Um, I've decided to dig out my uh, VH, VHS tapes, right? And I wanted to transfer these tapes onto my hard drives on my computer. I have got a program for that, it's called Bandicam. And uh, I bought that ages ago, I can't remember when I bought it there, but uh, I like the software, so I tried it, yeah, okay, but if you use the free version, you get a, a permanent watermark over your stuff, and you don't want that, I mean, it doesn't cost that much, so, uh, so I bought it anyway, so I used that, um, had a bit of a sort of a teething problems to start with, but I think I figured that out now anyway, so I, um, recorded the first tape now bear in mind because it's VHS to basically I'm digitizing it to the computer it has to play as it is so it's a four hour tape it takes four hours to stick it on the computer um, but it, <coughs> I had to do it several times the first one because um, well several attempts should I say it recorded the first three hours perfectly fine, but then it stopped. But it was still recording, but it stopped. Don't know why. So I found the point in the tape where it hadn't recorded and did it again. Then it recorded for 12 minutes and stopped. I'm like, this is doing me. So then I had to find the next point in the tape and then start from there. I went online, had a bit of a look to see if there's any reasons why, and it says you should use um, H265 thingamajig, try that. But I was already in that format. So then I switched it back to the MP4 format. Mm. And lo and behold, the next tape that I had, all the way through. Uh, I've only done two so far, because like I say, you have to play it. So, the tapes four hours plus three hours that's seven fucking hours i have got a few of these tapes but what made me laugh was the first one i picked up um it's got um a 90 i don't know why but 
on the start of it it's got um, fucking uh, tractor pulling right and I think it was 1998 and the reason why I say that is because it's it's off Eurosports and on Eurosports once that little it was like the last few minutes of the of this tractor pulling thing it went over to the uh, GP the motorbike racing and on the top it had got S3 K I think it was Suzuki it's a Suzuki sponsored um, race and um, what was it it said nine, uh, 98 so that's the reason why I think that was from 98 and that was on for fucking three hours and then because this was the four hour tape the next bit that was when it stopped I had to do it again it had um, part of an episode of Sledgehammer <laughs> Well, that's even earlier though. That's the thing that makes me smile. That ain't from 98, that's from earlier. And then it cuts to um, even earlier than that. Um, it was Good Morning Britain. And I was like, wow, how old is this fucking thing? So I've had to try and um, work it out from little clues that's been spoken through the, through this. And I've devised it. It's, it's, from 1990 and it probably makes a lot of sense because on the Good Morning Britain there was interviewing Dolph Lundgren and fuck me he looks like a pissing teenager <laughs> oh dear and plus as well Ulrika Johnson was on there doing a weather yeah she was a very nice lady well she still is isn't she she's a fucking very attractive lady but um, it was just Listening to the way that they spoke, the way that they did things, it was as if they had no fucking clue what they was doing. It's like they was winging it every every fucking step of the way, and it's like so cringeworthy, but funny at the same time. And uh, plus as well, I mean, if any of you lot remember uh, the Good Morning Britain when uh, with Rusty, the cook, who used to do all the uh, recipes and what have you. Oh, for fuck's sake, I tell you what, it was funny absolutely funny cringeworthy but funny and that was on for about uh, an hour i think it was or maybe just a little bit less but um fuck me I i'm gonna have to put some snippets on onto uh, my youtube channel or even facebook as well or whatever i don't know yet ain't it? but they are definitely worth a, a watch and another thing that i also enjoyed um you know stuff as it sounds <coughs> was the the old adverts from back in 1990 oh man honestly again it just feels like they must have been just <laughs> just winging it they had no clue what they were fucking doing <laughs> oh dear and as well um it just shows that back then right even though yeah you're looking at the, these old tv adverts and you're looking at this show called good morning britain um, life was obviously a lot fucking better back then because society has gone cuckoo. They fucking have, honestly. None of this fucking whatever you call it going on out there. But um, you could say say what you what you wanted, and that was the end of it. You know what I mean? It didn't make any difference. <coughs> but um, yeah, <laughs> I can't wait to dig out some of it because. I'm waiting to find something on there that's like maybe significant now and I'm looking forward to that. That should be really interesting. Um, hang on. <clears throat> well, you could at least bring the pistol drill with you. Go on. Uh, <clears throat> it's alright, John's coming here. Oh, thank you. This is John. Say hello. Who's that? YouTube. Hello. Hey, Where are you going to take the bin on you? I'm going to empty the bin on. Okay. I'm going to do one four out. Um, What's up with one four out? It's got a tight few turns on it. You're taking this now, are you? If you want me to take it now, I'll take it now. Yeah. You've 
Do they have to make a coffee? <laughs> yeah, I'll make a coffee. I always make the coffee. No, you don't always make the coffee. No, you know you're lying. And you've only read it the last week. Yeah. Last <laughs> week and half. No, it was a week you come over there. It was a week, week before what's it? You, when you come over there, or you do them over there. You don't do it, I'll do them over there. No, you don't do them over there. Yeah, well, don't matter. Get it. Nuts. Al hazelnuts. Yeah, that's the one. Covered in chocolate. Mm. Um, what? Um, um, one for our first, then I'm waiting for them to find our back. It's got two pounds returns on it. Oh, why are you just taking them off? I've got to move it to get them off. Mm. Um, that one... There ain't a lock on it, so you're all right. No, no, they're not going to lock on it. Well, I thought it was going to be Yes. I'm in the round thing. See you in a bit. to bring the, the easy little battery drill so I can stick a hole in the back of the uh, this this desk here so I can feed the fucking phone cable through because it's dangling all the way down here it's just stupid yeah uh, anyway <coughs> with the, uh, the the second uh, VHS tape that I got on there some other bits and bobs on that as well I haven't gone through all of it yet to have a look because I'll I want to try and get them on the computer first before I start faffing. Um, the third tape, I haven't transferred that yet, but I had a look to see what was on it. And it was recorded off television, uh, Superman, the first one. Um, I suppose that would probably be somewhere in the 90s, I imagine, as well, to be fair. And uh, I shall transfer that over. I know I don't need to because I've actually got Superman. I've got all four of them on DVD, the collection of them. But it's not that that I'm bothered about. It's the, um, it's all the commercials and stuff like that that I'm interested in from way back then. That's what I want to know. And also some of the newsreels that I've got that's on there as well. Um, some of the things that was going on. I mean, looking at uh, the news from like 1990 when uh, Margaret Thatcher was... <laughs> What's the Prime Minister like, you know what I mean? Or even the, another segment of uh, nine, uh, further on up in the years, it was <coughs> where David Cameron was the Prime Minister like, you know what I mean, on some of the news clips and some of the stuff that was saying there. And, and um, there was one instance where one of the, one of the um, MPs had made a comment about that uh, Germany's... Um, what is, what does he says somewhat Germany's... He's, trying to control the EU or something or doing something with the EU and I'm thinking well that's funny <laughs> we're trying to get out the EU well we're supposedly getting out the EU now so and he gets slammed for that back in the 90s and yet here we are today it's, it's way, it ain't weird how, how things work out <clears throat> but um, yeah <laughs> oh dear so there's, there'll, be, there'll be a lot of that to come. A lot of the old adverts I'm going to stick on the old uh, tinternet as well for a laugh. Just to show you what things were like back then. Because there's people out there who weren't born back then. So it's always possible. And it's always nice to have a reminisce as well for those who have. I mean, um, I was 18, coming 19 in 1990. So some of the stuff on there is I'm like, fuck you know. I can't believe we used to watch this shit. Because I remember, I used to get up in the morning and uh, I'd stick the uh, Good Morning Britain and I'd be, I'd be glued at it. And I don't know why. Because I've watched that now and I'm like, ooh, this is like cringe. Cringe. It's proper cringe. It really is. It's like, it's, oh, man. I'd be embarrassed to watch it. If it was me on there, I'd be embarrassed to watch the darn thing. It's like... The uh, the female presenters on the on there with the other chap and and, and the both of them talking and she's talking to Dolph Lundgren, my 
God, did she just... Yeah. <laughs> it was hilarious. But you'd have to see it to believe it. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with that bit. I might stick it all as one whole thing, because there was also um, this uh, actress that they was interviewing as well. I can't... Um, what was her name there? Something... Uh, Diablo. Something Diablo. What was her name? Was it Dana, Dana Diablo? She's anyway, I know it's the last name of Diablo because it's a weird name. Um, she was the, played the part of the sister in the Wonder Years. And according to what she said, there was three years in. And I went and had a look to see um, when the Wonder Years started. And apparently started in 88. But that doesn't make sense because um, that would make it 1991 if it was three years in, but it, it's not, it was 1990, so I think she got that wrong or something. Because all the uh, other clip, the bits in there, it all worked out to be in uh, 1990. So, at least I think it was. We just have a look, because I've got. Um, Well, I, I pulled up the uh, the date because there was a a guy that was talking there about um, it's the one who does the uh, star charts, but I can't think what his name was now. He used to do the horoscope in the morning. God, that guy was absolutely crap. <laughs> uh, but he did say July twenty fifth, which is a Wednesday. Well, July twenty fifth was on a uh, was on a Wednesday. And that was 1990. So, and if you go one one year up, it doesn't make sense. It goes to um, so 1991 is is um, a Thursday for the 25th of July. So, yeah, it is it is quite uh, quite interesting. Yeah, it's Thursday, so, and I went. Um, back down to 89 and um, even that was I think that was a Tuesday I think 89 let's have a look yeah Tuesday so it had to be uh, 1990 so there you have it a bit of uh, digging out on the old uh, computer to find out what date it was it made sense. It made sense looking at the people that was on there as well and how young they looked. How young uh, Dolph Lundgren looked. Twenty-eight years young. Or Erika Johnson, twenty-eight years young. <laughs> oh dear. Unbelievable. There was even um, it's like the some of the the old adverts like the. The washing powder adverts. The uh, there was there's a pot noodle advert on there as well, which was hilarious. I think I ain't seen that for donkeys. There's um, car adverts, and I think the car that they was advertising, it was a uh, I think it was a Nissan. But the registration was an X Ridge, so whatever year that was, I don't know. So uh, I'm not sure what X was. Because it was X numbers, letters. So, yeah, whatever year that is. I mean, year lot might know. I have a, oh, fuck, I ain't got a clue. I can't remember. I had a T ridge. What year was that? 98? Yeah, there it was. What year is a T ridge? I can't remember. Oh, hang on. Either way, it's all fascinating stuff. And plus it, you know, keeps my mind occupied. <clears throat> In the morning though, on, on the, was it, was it Sunday morning I went for a walk? Yeah, Sunday, I went I went for a walk. And uh, me, me, my four mile walk, I just thought, fuck it, gotta go, shove me earphones on, 
an awful light out for a walk and then it took me about Ten minutes or something, a soft light. I think it was. I hadn't done it for a while, so I got about, I'd say halfway around, and uh, my legs were starting to get a bit sore. My knees, my, my hip joints, getting a bit sore. But um, once I got back and sat down a bit and chilled out, so my feet was a bit uh, ooh, tender. <laughs> but after that's fine. And. Uh, I want to have a. It depends. See, on the night time, it does get. It's cold. I mean, it was cold in the morning when I went for a walk. It was, I think it was about seven degrees. I think it was, but I was feeling really hot anyway. So off I went. <clears throat> it was alright. I say it was not bad. Got back and chilled out there, and that's what because I'd, I'd already set the uh, the video up to record while I was out walking. So well, my computer to record the video. I know it sounds soft, but. Uh, Mm. I was listening to uh, Sneaky Sound System. I got their three. I got three of their albums. There's only three they've done anyway. I think they're all good. They are all good. If you if you've not um, not had ever heard of Sneaky Sound System, I would recommend it personally. <clears throat> don't know why I just find the music rather upbeat, upbeat and uh, and jiggy very happy I like it I do some of it's weird but even the weird ones are great but that's just the way it is I do have a bit of an eclectic taste to be fair so in one breath I can listen to that then there's, there's you know, solo artists female artists there's likes of heavy metal if you want to, you know, would you call it rock or heavy metal? What would you call it? Um, Godsmack is the one I know. There's ACDC, obviously, and there's Guns and Roses. I don't mind that. Uh, what else is there? Pop, dance, garage, um, classical. Yeah. I've got a couple of albums of classical on me on my phone as well. Yeah. Just depends. Just depends on what the mood strikes, you see. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Drum and bass, garage, dubstep. You know, I've got a, <laughs> a wide variety. I don't just stick to one thing. It's, it's whatever, you know, it's like you listen to a certain type of music. Yeah, that's all right, let's see if we find some more. Yeah, that's not bad, that, so there you have it. And that's how I'll go with that, so and I'll just stick my phone on. Plug my earphone in, off I go. And that's it. I've got the um, Skull Candy um, Crusher, is what I've got. It's got this, um, there's a, a dial, uh, like a slider on the, on the left hand side, and the more you push up, the bass just goes insane. It's fucking nuts. But um, they are, the, the, got to be the best headphones I've, especially, and the Bluetooth as well. They are the best headphones I've ever had, honestly. And I compare the what them ones, they cost, I mean they did cost a bit, I mean they was a uh, hundred quid they were. And um, and I've always wanted a decent pair of headphones anyway. I'm, I've had the cord ones like, but they're just, yeah, they're all right, but for practicality when you're doing, when I want to go off out and walk about and stick these things on, Bluetooth is away. And I tried uh, several uh, makes, including, uh, I wasn't going to buy them, I just wanted to know what they sounded like. There was these Bluetooth Bose headphones. And I will be honest with you, they were shit. And they cost... 350 quid and when I put the um, the skull crushers on skull, no, crusher skull candy when I put them on and plugged them onto my phone and played my music from list because I'd, I'd put the, the bows on first and I'm like wow 
there was just no comparison. And then I'm thinking to myself, well, how is it that these school candies are outperforming, in my opinion, because don't forget, these are my ears that are, that are actually listening to them. <clears throat> outperforming these bows, which are fucking three times less than the fucking bows in the first place. I'm like, well, that's weird. So that's what I went for, the skull candy. Crusher. I mean, to think that you'd want to spend 350 quid on a set of headphones and yet you can spend a hundred pound on something that's fucking ten times better, in my opinion. Don't know, don't know why. I have no idea. I just, when I put them on my head, I mean, they've got this uh, noise cancelling system on the bowels, and um, which you can tell because as soon as you stick them on there you can't hear fuck all around you but when you turn the music on it just felt bland there was no there was just no depth to the music it just felt yeah crap very dull the didn't like it no it seemed to ruin the experience for me so there you have it, in my little scope on my earphones I use when I walk, my little four mile walk. I'd like to do it again, but uh, I've got a funny feeling that um, well, I'm going to finish too late. It'll be six o'clock gone before I get out of here, so I won't be able to do it walk. Damn blast. Yeah, well. <clears throat> but I will be able to have another go at doing some more of those VHS tapes. <laughs> I'll have enough time to do one. Ish. Depends. I'd have to get on, get it done quickly. <clears throat> Turn it on. Set it up. Get the old uh, PC ready. Can DVD uh, video player. Yeah, the, oh, the video player. Is it really a VHS player? Yeah. Well, and away we go. Ooh. I suppose I might as well go now, I know, because I'm fucking I've run out of shit to talk about. And it's only gonna bore the piss out of you anyway, so uh, Yeah, that's it then. I'm done. Just thought I'd uh, keep you up to date. I know I'm uh, it's supposed to be a fucking driving channel but uh, unfortunately I'm not driving. So there we go. Right, I'm going to go. Speak to you a lot. Whenever. Enjoy your day. Toodles and all that. Bye. Yeah.